it's time for a death battle. By the way, I went to Pride yesterday, and I got a free temporary tattoo, and I got a bunch of other free goodies, and I spent a dollar on a sticker because I had to save my money for my lunch. So let's get on with the death battle. Mario vs. Sonic. Their rivalry is legendary and their fame unmatched. After battling for over two decades, this epic duel will finally meet a decisive end. I've been waiting for this forever! Mario, the whimsical Italian plumber, and... I think they're kind of the frenemies nowadays. Sonic, the hyperactive hedgehog. I'm Wizard and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Mario is one of the Star Children and possesses many special abilities with the intent of protecting his home, the Mushroom Kingdom. Even as a baby, he was obviously destined for greatness. When you got an army of dinosaurs serving you before you can even speak, you know you're gonna do great things. He is well known for his incredible athleticism and unmatched jumping ability. Who says white guys can't jump? Plus, he's a powerhouse with the strength to lift heavy objects and crush enormous castles. He also uses his bare fists to smash solid brick. With his jumping skills and weight, he can pound and crush his foes into oblivion. And if he needs some extra firepower, well, he's got an entire arsenal of power-ups. His first power-up is the Fire Flower. With it, Mario obtains pyrokinetic abilities. Really? I always thought the flower was just really spicy. He can create and manipulate fire to produce a variety of devastating attacks. He's also got Ow. this frog suit thingy. While wearing it, Don't Mario can jump even sunburn. higher, swim even faster, and breathe underwater. The only problem is, no one's really going to take him seriously wearing that thing. <laughs> Ah, look at him. Several different power-ups have granted Mario flight before, but none as well as the Cape Feather. With it, Mario can fly for an unprecedented amount of time. The Metal Cap turns Mario's entire body into indestructible living steel. But while Metal Mario is extremely heavy, his strength and speed are boosted, giving him ten times more power and just as much agility as before. The Starman envelops Mario in a blinding aura of compressed energy, granting increased speed and complete invulnerability for a short time. Touching a normal enemy in this state will instantly kill the foe. And while it's not technically a power-up, Mario has a hammer that can crush almost anything. It seems Mario's always popping shrooms to get more power. And with the Mega Mushroom, he gets ginormous. Mowing down people, plants, environment, hell, everything. Mario has battled a larger variety of enemies than any other video game hero. Whether a foe is large or small, scary or goofy, dumb or deadly, nothing has ever proved too much for him. Except for keeping track of his woman. She's always getting kidnapped and he's always showing up at the wrong castle. Somebody needs to throw a GPS tracking bracelet on that bitch. He's fairly yeah. impulsive and not much of a strategist, preferring to quickly fight his way through problems before thinking things through. But that doesn't matter. Italy's greatest hero can power through anything. It's me, Mario. I think Italy's greatest hero is Porco Rosso. Sonic the Hedgehog is the fastest thing alive and a freedom fighter battling to save the world from the tyrannical Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik. He's not so bad for a tree-hugging hippie. Sonic's most notable ability is his speed. He can easily break the sound barrier in mere seconds. While his top speed is unknown, he has clocked in an average of 765 miles per hour. Holy crap, this guy must blow through his shoes. He can further increase his speed with his trademark figure eight technique. But he's not just fast on his feet. He can curl up into a spiky ball and rip through his opponents with a spin attack. His homing attack rockets toward an opponent and can hit multiple times. And with his spin dash, he can reach top speeds almost instantly. How does this guy not vomit? During his adventures, he has used a variety of different shields to improve his abilities. Each shield can deflect minor projectiles and have environmental advantages, though they will disintegrate after blocking a deadly blow. The fire shield can absorb, well, fire and heat, though it can't survive underwater. No shit. But with it, Sonic can use a fiery dash attack. The lightning shield can't survive in aquatic environments either, but it gives Sonic a mid-air jump for further aerial control. And with the bubble shield, he can breathe underwater and control his jump with a powerful bounce. Why do we keep mentioning water, you may ask? Because he can't freaking swim. Sonic's oh, ultimate power-up, however, isn't a shield at all. After absorbing thousands of power rings during his adventures, Sonic has become an embodiment of chaos. Using the power of the seven Chaos Emeralds, Sonic can tap into their incredible powers and summon the form of Super Sonic. Super Sonic can fly, breathe underwater, and is completely invulnerable. Not to mention his speed is increased a thousandfold. But as with most things that are unbelievably powerful, it has a time limit. I'm curious, is there a reason why Sonic can't canonically swim? 
Without a steady supply of power rings, it can't even last a full minute. And when the form finally subsides, Sonic returns to normal at peak physical form, regardless of his condition prior to the transformation. While Sonic's always risking his life saving the world from all kinds of dangerous robots and demigods, he's kind of a dick. Sonic is cocky, arrogant, and addicted to action. He gets cranky and unstable when he's cooped up for too long. And if you ignore him, <laughs> he'll straight up leave you. But despite his rough personality, he'll do whatever it takes to save the day. Ooh, I like that thing, but I got a juice. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I gotta get me some rocket boots so I can run like Sonic. What? Where are you gonna get the money for rocket boots? Netflix? And by the way, Sonic totally sounded like a 13-year-old in that little clip that they used. Not like a 16-year-old. A death battle! Maybe 12. Alright, Chubby, let's settle this. Super Saiyan. Now I'll show you. How's that, plumber? than I thought, huh? But now it's time for me to finish this... exhausted, Mario was no match for Sonic's natural speed. Even if they had used their lesser-known power-ups like the Ice Flower or Super Emeralds, there's no reason to say the result would be any different. Looks like Mario just couldn't keep up. The winner is Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed that death battle.